to Daily Newspaper Analysis, which is brought to you by Law Seekho. We hope that you're all doing fit and fine. And uh, today, let's see that what do we have for our discussion. So we have an editorial which has been taken from both the Hindu as well as the Indian Express. So basically, two articles were talking about the same thing. So we have taken this. So the article name is Overturning Roe versus Wade. This talks about the recent leaked draft that has come up in USA that talks about that the abortion over there will, uh, you know, it was th being thought that the abortion laws should be, should be overturned in the country. So what exactly is this about and what uh, kind of abortion laws do we have in India will be discussed in this article. Secondly, we have the important news updates from which the direct question of prelims can be asked. So please pay attention to that segment as well. And thirdly, we have the legal news wherein we'll be covering the most important latest and legal case laws for the day. Also, before we begin with the session, if you like this initiative that has been taken by Law Seco, and if you like the discussion that we do over in this newspaper analysis, please give it a like and you can also leave a good and happy comment for us, which will definitely motivate us as creators of this content. On this note, let's start the discussion for today's article, which talks about overturning Roe versus Wade. So this is this case law that is related to the abortion laws in the United States of America. So we can see that all hell broke loose. Basically, you know, the situation has gone completely onto the roads. When Politico, there is this news agency and various other major media in the United States, they got their hands on a leaked draft that states that the majority of the justices in the US have voted to overturn the 1973 judgment that made abortion legal in US. Of course, as of now, the current situation is that abortion is a legal activity in the United States and it has been legal uh, since the judgment of 1973. But that was actually in the case of Roe versus Wade. But now through this draft, though, please consider that this is still a draft and this is a leaked draft. So this has not really been a concrete decision as of now, but the people have come to know that the justices, the judicial system over there is definitely, it is on the lines of overturning this judgment, wherein it might make abortion as illegal in the US or it might bring on a lot of restrictions on the free or a simple uh, legal abortions. So in an already divided nation, now why we are saying it as an already divided nation, please consider that the United States of America, unlike India, has multiple constitutions. Just like, you know, just we, like unlike India, we have only one constitution, that is the law of the land, and all the states follow the same constitution. Yes, of course, there are some differences in special status given to various states. Please, let's not go into that as of now. But still, we have one law of the land, that is the constitution. But that is not the case when it comes to United States of America. There is one constitution that is for the whole of America and all the 50 states have their own laws, have their own constitutions. That is why we say that it is kind of an already divided nation. The citizenship also, it follows a dual citizenship and there are various reasons now uh, to say this. So this news has created a waves of discontentment, especially since even the George Bush election could not guess which way the judges of the Supreme Court were swaying. So if at all, this is, as we said, it is a leaked draft. So of course, we can understand that, yes, the intention of the justices can be considered to be in this particular direction. Now let's understand that what is the immediate or the imminent danger that could arise if this uh, happens in the real world. So the Democrats have agreed that the decision to overturn the judgment will go down as an abomination of, in the history of modern era. And definitely it is something that, you know, US has been one of the most progressive nations of the world. It was also one of the, you know, the, the fewest nations of those times that had, uh, you know, legalized the same-sex marriages as well. So in this situation, when you talk about the modern era, if at all now, now, in this 21st century, US goes and overturns this decision and makes abortion illegal, definitely it will be like a blot on the modern era. Now, a physician has pointed out that uh, the making abortion illegal will only affect the poor, people of the color and low income groups, because uh, these are the people, you know, who might, you know, resort to uh, abortions the most because of lack of resources, lack of finances, lack of money. And that is why if at all abortions are made illegal, it will be very difficult for them to take care of the family or take care of the child that maybe financially or resource wise they were not prepared for. So further, the restriction will only move the process of abortion underground, unsafe and unqualified operations, online stores, uh, ped peddling abortion pills. So of course, you know, it is it cannot be said that if at all we make something illegal, so it will not persist at all. Let's take a very simple example of drugs. Now, drugs consumption is illegal. But do you think that people do not consume them at all? 
Of course they do. And all the work now is done under table and it becomes even more difficult for the government, for the state to actually track such activities. And similar could be the case with the abortion also if it goes Ill illegal in the country, which would ultimately enhance unsafe and unqualified or the hidden kind of abortions done by an unprofessional people and even various kinds of such pills, such doses that, would, that might come up on the surface, which are very, very injurious to death and even injurious to health and even fatal at times. So the unmarried women's crusade of bodily autonomy is already a crime in taxes and their abortion is allowed only when mother's life is in danger. So if at all this becomes illegal, it will give more wind, it will make give more power to such, uh, you know, uh, uh, assumptions which are against the bodily autonomy. Now it also shows that a trend of judges overturning long-standing individual rights and a power display for transient political considerations. So maybe because some short-term political goals, they might be doing this, but they might have long-term or, you know, irreversible impact on the uh, especially the population especially the women now when we talk about the global ramifications the suspension of abortion rights will only embolden the anti-labor voices around the world and it is for maybe good for nothing we can say so or good for no one. India has also recently come up with the Medical Termination of Pregnancy Amendment Act 2021, according to which we also have, you know, considered increasing the time period for abortion. So India also is trying to become progressive. So definitely it is a welcome move, but again, it contains ample of the ambiguities and gaps for judicial and executive interpretation, which are yet to come. And the Puttaswamy angle of privacy will also also have to be reconciled with the abortion rights under the Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act. Now, the overturning of this judgment of the United States, that is Roe versus Wade, could signal the shadow of conservative mindset overshadowing the judicial procedure of upholding the individual rights. And when we talk about the individual rights, right to privacy, as well as bodily autonomy, that is one's control over one's own body, that if I want to do whatever with my body, of course, see, there is a different situation when it comes to right to suicide or euthanasia. Uh, that is altogether a different issue. But if at all, I want to donate a body part of mine or if I do not want to carry a child or I want to carry a child, nothing and no one should really be substantially be able to stop me. That is the question of bodily autonomy. And if at all we are making abortion illegal completely, like a blanket ban is there, it is definitely a hamper on, it is definitely a hurdle or enjoying the right of bodily autonomy. Now let's discuss what do we have for news updates today. Firstly, Jammu and Kashmir Delimitation Commission issues final notification. So the Delimitation Commission, which is headed by Justice Ranjana Prakash Desai, who is a retired judge of the Supreme Court of India, uh, Shri Sushil Chandra and Shri KK Sharma, as a delimitation order for the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir was finalized. Please consider that Delimitation Commission is a temporary body, which is which you know uh, comes up whenever the constituencies have to be determined for the conduction of the elections. And when the purpose is solved, the Delimitation Commission goes back to its uh, you know a normal state, and it does not really. It is basically an ad hoc body. Now, out of the 90 Assembly constituencies in the region, 43 will be a part of the Jammu region, and 47 for the Kashmir region. Second. Dhanush Srikanth wins gold on day three of ongoing 24th Diff Olympics 2022. So Dhanush Srikanth uh, struck the gold in the men's 10 meter air rifle competition on day three of the ongoing 24th Diff Olympics at Caxias do Sol in Brazil, ensuring a gold start to India's campaign at the Games. Shaurya Saini put the icing on India's cake with uh, a bronze, finishing behind Korea's King Mu Rim in the eighth man final. Eight man final. Thirdly, Collegium recommends two names to the Supreme Court. So the Supreme Court Collegium led by Chief Justice of India, N.V. Ramana, please note that, uh, okay, well, why don't you tell me in the comment section that Justice N.V. Ramana is the Chief Justice of India right now. Which number is he? Like the 5th, 6th, 100th, 50th, which number actually of Chief Justice he is currently? Let me know in the comment section below. So he has recommended Gohati High Court Chief Justice uh, Sudhan Shudhulia and Gujarat High Court uh, Judge Justice Jamshed Burjor Paradiwala as, uh, for the appointment as Apex Court Judges. Let's see what do we have for legal news today. Once declared citizen, same person cannot be declared as foreigner as res judicata principle is applicable to the foreign tribunal, says the Guadi High Court in the case of Sital Mandal versus Union of India and others along with connected petitions. 
so the Guwahati High Court held that the principle of res judicata is applicable on the orders of the foreigners tribunals regarding citizenship and the same has been done confirming to the judgment by the Supreme Court previously in the case of Abdul Qudus versus Union of India. If you understand the meaning of the principle of res judicata, please let me know this as well in the comment section below. Secondly, Interferes uh, where the judicial functions, Supreme Court hold uh, uh, Kerala law to revoke arbitral award unconstitutional. So the Supreme Court held that the Kerala revocation of arbitration clauses and reopening of awards act 1998 was unconstitutional as it interfered with the judicial functions. This was held in the case of the Secretary of Government of Kerala Irrigation Department and others versus James Verghese and others. So this was all for the day. We hope you liked it. If you did, do not forget to give a thumbs up to this video. And also, please, you may subscribe to this channel as well. Thank you so much.